I'm sure we've all been to parties where there just isn't much going on and guests are just sitting around and they're staring at each other. Awkward. That is not going to happen at our house party today. We're going to avoid the awkwardness and get our guests talking with some help from Leanne Alaire Perot. <laughs> all right, L.A., how do we avoid awkwardness at the party? Well, this time of year, it's it's interesting because there are so many parties that happen. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, parties are great. I get to see my friends and relatives. But oftentimes, you can get invited to parties as the plus one right. where you know no one. So as the host, you need to keep that in mind. It's great if you know most of the people coming, but if you don't know the people they're bringing. Yeah. It's nice to have some sort of icebreaker yes. in the party. I don't like scheduled planned parties in terms of like, at 4 o'clock, we're going to do this game. Yeah. That takes all That's the fun out of the game completely. Yeah. But you want just those things at hand, ready to go, that okay. if there is the lull you can kind of strip that away and get the laughter going. Speaking of laughter, I'm a yeah. big fan of a themed party. You don't have to go way overboard, but I think if you're having a house party, people will likely come casual and comfortable anyway, yeah. or were there sequins, but you to bring know. everyone on the same level, mm -hmm. think about doing something like an elf party. So, that little bell's been ringing and ringing. Right? Should I go for it? You should go for it. Okay. So here's the thing. You can tell all your guests to wear an elf hat. Yeah. And you will have the people that will come and be like, oh, I'm too good for an elf hat. And that's when you just hand them one when they come in the door. So you right. have a few extra. Because then you put, again, everybody at that same casual, comfortable level. Right. And you strip all of the seriousness away when you're wearing a little elf hat. The whole point is about bringing everybody, like, get off your high horse. Right? We're going to get down and we're going to have some fun. So let's bring in fun. our house party guests. Please yes. welcome Sarah Jim and Yassin. Joe T. Nat. Rock, Chef Randy Feltis. So this is gonna be a party. And LA, what are we going to be playing t today so to like break the ice? I love a little <laughs> kind of fun interactive game that can include a few guests, but is kind of fun for everybody to watch as okay. well. Okay. So everybody can take part in this over the course of the evening. But this is kind of a trend that I've been seeing on social media, and it's blind taste testing. Okay. So I went to one of my absolute favorite holiday stores <laughs> called Retro Festive, and they have some of the wackiest, wildest, and most fun Christmas accoutrement, mm -hmm. including weird flavored candy canes and hot chocolate. I brought a few examples to show you what you might be in store for up front. So they have candy canes that are ketchup That's flavored. That's not looking good, L.A. Canned ham. <laughs> oh. Pickles, sour cream, and onion. Why? So we are going to do a little blind taste testing now. We're going to start with the yellow candy cane. So give that a little taste and just shout out what you think it tastes like. Any guesses? Huh? Banana. Huh? No, not quite banana. Um, She's going I was going to say cues. banana after you said it. Um, no. Apple? Pot? No. Mm -mm. Wow, we're really far off. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. it, well, it's sweet with, a little, cheese. Ew, cheese. It's it's with a little cheddar cheese undertone of <gasps> mac and cheese. <laughs> yes. Mac and cheese? It is a mac and cheese candy cake. I don't have a very advanced or <laughs> <or> pedestrian palate. <laughs> Mug of hot chocolate and I give that a little scared. Taste. <laughs> okay, and what does that one taste like? What do we think? It tastes like uh, it almost tastes banana. Is that banana? banana. Yeah. Yeah. It's banana. <laughs> yes. Good. I was being all fancy. It's a banana. Okay, so let's okay. go for the green candy cane now. Give that a little taste. And what are we, the little undertones, the essence of, I feel like Chef oh. might get this one. Mint? Is that yeah, like pine? No. It tastes pine? like a tree. It tastes like a Christmas tree. Oh, like yeah. a Christmas tree or it pine could be cone? kale. Oh, yeah. Wow. Candy I did not cane. taste like kale. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Okay, let's switch to the large <laughs> hot like chocolate. A vegetable. Give that large hot okay. chocolate you a taste. You just ruined Christmas. It's I okay. ate a kale candy cane. We're, we're gearing up to a, a real sweet treat here. Okay, little taste. Does this taste like hot chocolate? Yeah, it does. This tastes like hot chocolate. Okay, hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, water down hot chocolate with maybe. A little tiny taste of bacon in there. Oh. Do you pick up the bacon? So there's it's supposed yeah. to be a maple bacon hot chocolate. Oh, I you guess get maple. Little, okay. Maple. Well, maple. Okay, One. and let's go last but not least, the gray Sarah. candy cane. Why is it gray? Give that a <laughs> Oh my gosh. The color <laughs> does not taste good. Wait, what was that reaction? It tastes like beef. Mm. Is it beef? Yes, I'm gonna, like, this is a beef candy cane that's angry like, now. Is it jerky or something? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like meat. It's no, not that's beef. That's so gross. It's gross. But it is sardines. Oh. 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 Christmas is canceled. Oh. Oh. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> LA, thank you, I think. Our holiday house.
sports party is in full swing, and Leanna's back with more icebreaker games to keep the good times going. So, L.A., I'm almost afraid to ask. What do you have <laughs> in store for us now? Well, just when you thought this party couldn't get any more fun, <laughs> right? And I should note, these games, you don't, maybe don't want to do all of these at one party. <laughs> right. One or two is great to have on hand, yeah. such as a card game. Oh, yeah. So, this sure. is one of those trivia card games that I think is so easy to keep in a drawer and pull out when, again, the party might get a little stale. This mm -hmm. is Christmas and holiday TV and movie trivia. Nice. So really quick and easy and again, yeah. a good conversation starter. It's for sure bound to spark a conversation. Oh, I like that one. Another fun little drawer game is one that I picked up again at Retro Festive. This is the Jolly Holly Festive Play That Too. Ooh. And with this, it comes with your stack of cards with all kinds. I had no idea that there were this many holiday songs actually. There are so many. Uh, but there are a lot and you read through, you go, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. But mm -hmm. not only are they're the list of songs, but it also comes with kazoos. Oh no. <laughs> so I will do my best to kazoo a song, and you guys can have to try to guess what it is. Okay, ready? Go for it. Yes, Merry Little Christmas. Tracy, you want to try one? I'm going to try. I've never played one of these in my life. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you got this. You got this. Yes. Frosty. Yes. So good. So nice. nice. That's awesome. You so really got to like make a the fun sound. Little okay. like great for kids, but also great for adults. Yeah. Uh, so, if you don't have a card game handy, but you have pantyhose, <laughs> then you can play this what? next game. So, okay. The goal with this, this is a game that should give yourself 5, 10, 15 minutes. We're going to supercharge this and try to do this in one minute with Amazing. you guys in team. So you want to get into teams. So Tracy and Sarah, I'm going to throw you a pair yep. of pantyhose. Thank you. I'm going to give you two pair of pantyhose. And the goal is we're going to give you one minute not to put them on, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Randy's like, like instead, know. you are going to see how many balloons you can stuff into the pantyhose oh, with the goal oh, of no. making reindeer antlers. <laughs> Okay. Just like antlers, right? Yeah. Oh Looks my just gosh. like antlers. They're so cute on you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, so ready? On your marks, get set, go. Okay. Do you want to just hold it in two teams? Oh, you're going glow. There Smart. is a bit of a technique yeah. to this. There is? The smaller the balloon, the better. Oh, that's true. So there's some big ones I have and short sharp ones. nails. Okay. No. Jochi is here to play. Oh, oh my gosh. She is oh, not ready. Right. 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 She's going to burn in her stockings. She should be eliminated. What's your technique? Okay, they're oh, putting I, me to shame. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, they're slipping. And don't forget, you'll have to designate one person on your team as your reindeer. Oh, no! Oh, Winner! Winner! We did it! The winner has been crowned and lost. Nice, very nice. games to get the party started yes. at the holiday get together so what what are we doing now so this one requires a little costume change for you two we okay. already have sarah and joti in their <laughs> double <laughs> ugly sweater <laughs> together, and shockingly this <laughs> isn't even an ugly first. sweater party this is actually a gingerbread decorating party so oh. i love the idea of getting friends together and whether you do a cookie baking a cookie swap <laughs> cookie decorating or in this case we're doing the gingerbread house decorating but with a twist because although you're in teams of two you only have two hands to mean? be able to decorate your gingerbread houses so well, there's icing here there are cookie bits there's candy but you have to come up with it helps if you have a bit of a strategy because it might not just be as easy with one hand to ice. <laughs> we have so, a strategy all right and we're going to win yeah. this thing. Well, let's see about that. And, are you guys ready? <laughs> we're we're ready to win it. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Oh. Well, I think get started okay. and then I'm going to oh, add a okay. twist. We're okay. All so right. let's see, get a feel we'll for it because the icing. Well, I was just gonna go. Oh, I love how like okay, you're trying to make it look beautiful and precious. <laughs> 
There's no room for beautiful Can impressions. Especially out. when we're gonna add a twist, Tracy Moore. Can you look at me? Yeah. We are going to oh, blindfold okay. you. And this is yes. awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It's your already going somewhere. So well. It's already to look so good. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Oh, there we go. You do, I'll do this side and you do that side. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so let's see how you can do <laughs> would work well two-handed, but you only have one. Oh, that we can okay. do that. Let's okay. see how the decorating Stay. goes. No, no, now. Can you get that? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Okay. Is the time up yet? No, keep going. Oh, you're okay. good. You're good. You're good. Where okay. is this? This team got an advantage over here. <laughs> We're in it to win it. Okay, let me see. Let's do a little blindfold <laughs> action. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> No fun at all, right, friends? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. There you go. We're going for full coverage here, Trace. <laughs> Just so the action in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's some action going on. I think we're building something something really beautiful here. (laughs) Okay, how how does ours look, LA? Well, it is interesting. (laughs) It's definitely interesting. Okay, why don't we take blindfolds off? Okay. And see, you can see your masterpieces. Okay. It's a new build and it's sort of going for an organic structure. We're going for it's under renovation. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so fun. I just I looked through my glasses and I saw him going ham with the frost. <laughs> and I died. Okay. I think we won.